Hello everyone, welcome to the Real Business Talk Show. I'm your host, Paul Cruz. I hope everyone's doing fantastic and having a phenomenal week. I know I'm having a great week. I got two potential clients that I've been talking with that I met on social media. And it's a very exciting opportunity for me. And uh, I've been blessed ever since I've, I've come to El Paso, Texas. And a lot of you have heard me say that, but I am. And I'm very grateful and thankful to God for all the opportunities that have come my way. And, uh, you know, I'm excited. And I hope everyone is doing well. I want to thank those who have been following me on my social sites and have been subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm very grateful and thankful to all of you for that and especially sharing the content. But I have a topic that I think is being ignored in sales and in business and even in personal life. And I think it's a topic that people really need to think about and consider and ponder about it. Because we go about our lives just not even thinking about these things and it's a shame. So here's the topic for today. Excuses and results. Are you about excuses when things don't go right? Let's say you're not selling or closing deals or converting deals. Let's say your business is not growing. You know, you don't your, your revenues are not up. Are you making excuses about it? Or are you seeking the problems about it? Or the problem that's causing it, fixing it, solving it, and executing and getting the right results. Think about that. I'm going to tell you a personal story. I was once that guy that made excuses that wanted to blame everybody else for the things that didn't work out in my business life, my sales life, my personal life, and everything like that. Looking back, I look at that, I'm like, man, what a weak man I was. I wanted to blame everybody else except me. And if it wasn't for God changing my way of thinking and saving me from that, I don't know where I would be right now. But I know I'm not about excuses. No, things do happen that are legitimate, that, you know, beyond your control, and it happens. But it's how you deal with that that matters. And what I love is this. I love the fact that I'm all about results, about the right results. I'm all about the challenges because it creates opportunities. That's the winner's mentality because a winner always finds a way to win. That's their mentality. That's their attitude. The loser's mentality is to make excuses and blame something or blame somebody else. So ask yourself that question. Whether you're selling, you, you know, you're closing deals, you're not come closing deals. You know, I will say this. The last year in Las Vegas, Nevada, for me personally, was the worst year. And it was also a good year. What, why was it good? Because I learned some things and I entertained some things that I didn't think I would do. What was worst about it? I didn't make no money. I'm not blaming anybody. I didn't do that well. I met some people that, you know, looking back, I should have never been involved with. They make, they, they, their business was not doing well. They made excuses and then they blame me for their failures. Think about that. <laughs> That's what happened. But it was my fault. I allowed myself to be in that position. I didn't make no excuses. I just said, you know, I'm done. I'm moving on. And believe me, I've made mistakes. But one thing I've learned to do is to take responsibility for that. Not to make excuses, but to get the results from it. Get the lessons I'm supposed to learn from that. Is that you? Are you doing that in your business, in your personal life? Because let me tell you something. Real business talk show, as I said before, is not for the weak-minded or the closed-minded. I'm going to tell you the way it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You take it or you leave it. But I'm here to express myself and tell you my experiences and hopefully you learn from it and you ask yourself some serious, tough, yet simple questions to make the changes you need to make to get the results that you want. And as I said before, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not here to change anyone's life. I'm here to help people 
think about what they need to do to solve the issues in life and in business. And I have a program called the Martial Arts of Sales that teaches that. And I'll tell you, yesterday was an incredible day. I took a call to action on my social media. I called a few people. I got two solid situations that are going to be very profitable, not only for me and my company, but for the people I'm going to be doing work for. They're very excited. And I'm excited about it because you know what? At the end, my attitude was it, I could help somebody. I have the product they need to solve their problems. So ask yourself this question. Are you about making excuses or are you about getting results? And I'm going to dig a little bit deeper for you small business owners, entrepreneurs, and CEOs. I know some of you have bad apples in your organization. Bad apples meaning the wrong people in the wrong positions with the wrong attitude, with the wrong mindset and all that. And you're probably afraid to let them go because you're concerned about lawsuits. I know people like that. So they use that as an excuse not to solve the problem. So guess what happens when they don't do that? That problem becomes magnified because it starts to affect other people in their business. For me, it's very simple. I got two salespeople working for me right now. I said, there's two things you're not going to do. You're not going to lie. You're not going to be late. If you lie, you're done. I'm not worried about lawsuits. I'm not worried about any of that. All I care about is doing the right thing, not making excuses, not justifying people's bad behaviors. Do you do that? If you do that, shame on you. Because if you're afraid of a lawsuit, then you should not be in business. I tell people, wait online. That's my attitude. Because guess what? At the end, God controls everything. What he's, allowed, what, what he's going to allow to happen to me, he's going to allow to happen to me. I just got to accept it and learn from whatever I'm supposed to learn from it. But one thing I'm not going to accept as an entrepreneur myself and a small business owner and a salesman and a CEO, I'm not going to allow any bad apples in my business. I'm just not going to do it. I don't need to make money that bad. So ask yourself this question. Are you making excuses about your sales process or are you trying to fix the problem so you could get the right result? Are you fixing the process or the foundation or are you making excuses? I'm speaking to you entrepreneurs, small business owners, CEOs and salespeople. If you're not making sales or converting deals or closing deals, what are you doing about it? Are you making the changes you need to make to get the results? Or are you just making excuses? Oh, the customer did this, the customer did that. No, the customer nothing is on you, man. I just did a video earlier before the podcast, and I talked about the difference between a salesman and a master closer. And a master closer is both. Salespeople, a lot of times, like to make excuses why they didn't close a deal. The fact is, they're not closers. That's just the bottom line. Is that you? Now, that doesn't mean you cannot become one. I recommend my martial arts and sales training program. It's incredible. It will teach you how to be a, a stronger closer, more effective closer. Knowing, uh, increasing your, your way of converting deals on social media, helping you find ways to create your own deal so you can increase your value. That's the attitude. That's about solving a problem. That's about trying to get results. So my experience in Las Vegas, like I said in the past year, everybody was making excuses why their business wasn't doing well, blah, 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 etc., you know, and I made a mistake because I wanted to help a business owner. I saw some opportunities there. And when I got into bed with them, I realized he's not even that. It hurt me really bad, financially and other. It came to the point where he even threatened my life. 
But I didn't make no excuses. It was my fault. And I learned from that. And I got away from that. I said never again. No excuses. But I also learned some things from that. And I grew from that. And I apply what I learned there, here, and I've been more prosperous in El Paso, Texas, even though I've had some challenges since April than I had last year in Las Vegas, Nevada. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So ask yourself this question. You know, as a business owner, are you doing everything to make sure that your salespeople or your employees are not making excuses why they're not performing? Because it's on you. Are you teaching them how to get the right results? Are you teaching them to have the right mindset, the right attitude? Because it's only going to benefit your business. Are you afraid to get rid of those bad apples because they're productive? Get rid of them. How about you salespeople? Are you trying to learn better ways to be more effective or are you making an excuse that the product sucks? Everybody always wants to blame the product. Now, there are products out there that are not good. You shouldn't be selling it. You could get the greatest salesman in the world, have the worst product, they know how to sell it. You got the best product, the worst salesman, you'll never sell it. So at the end of the day, are you about making excuses or getting results or the right results? If I told you the challenges I dealt with here in El Paso, Texas, and there's only one person that knows my challenges besides God, that's my future wife. She's been absolutely incredible. But I've been able to use those challenges as an opportunity to get the right results and seek new challenges. So are you asking yourself that question? Are you creating loser's mentality in your business? Or are you creating winner's mentality in your business? Because one thing I've learned, it starts with the top. And the other thing I learned is that those who are the wisest and those that know more should be serving the people that work for them. That's the way it is, man. Not everybody does it that way. So, I want to thank everyone that's been following me. And I'm going to encourage you people who have seen me for the first time or have seen me before and afraid to take action. Go to my YouTube channel at Real Business Talk Show. Subscribe. Watch some of my videos. Write down some notes, take some action, send me a message. If you're ready to make changes in your business, in your sales life, that you can make improvements on generating more revenue, having the right mindset, the right attitude, learning how to close more effectively, more consistently, and converting deals, creating opportunities for yourself and your business and your employees and your salespeople, get a hold of me. I promise you. You will not be disappointed. The only thing I do ask, if you can't handle the truth, then don't deal. Don't, don't even waste my time. Because again, as I, I said earlier, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not here to change nobody's life. But I do have solutions to some of your business problems. All you need to do is admit you have a problem. Look at what the causes are and try to find the right solution. That's what I'm here for. 
So anyway, I want to thank you all of you who have been listening. If you want to follow me on my social sites, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Real Business Talk Show. You can follow me on Twitter at Real Business TS and also subscribe to my YouTube channel at Real Business Talk Show. I want to thank everyone who's been listening and, and watching my videos. Till we speak again, I say goodbye for now. My name is Paul Cruz with the Real Business Talk Show. Have a great day. Bye for now. Ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself.